Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And everyone said, Amen. well, it's Palm Sunday, so it's time for me to do some confessing. Are you ready for this, guys? Look at everybody, I have everybody's attention for whatever reason. When I flipped on the PowerPoint this morning for today's service, I flipped on Saturday nights. So it's my fault that we were, that we were not on the Sunday morning service, so... The praise team was supposed to sing Hosanna's, you know, rising. We were supposed to sing that. So we'll work this out. Thanks for uh, being flexible. And thanks for your grace and forgiveness on this Palm Sunday. You're going to ride that grace right into my life, aren't you? And you're going to ride that forgiveness and mercy right into my life. It really isn't a bad thing to, to consider um, the grace and mercy of God. And that's exactly why Jesus rode into Jerusalem on that very first Palm Sunday. You know, we... Think about how many Palm Sundays that you have been a part of. I mean, I don't know how old you are, but I know how old I am. We've celebrated a lot of Palm Sundays, right? I mean, how often are we going to have to sing the same songs and hear the same boring sermons every Palm Sunday? Well, we don't want this to be a boring one. We're trying to liven things up. We're trying to confuse you with our worship PowerPoint this morning so that you will stay awake and hopefully not get too upset with us. But a lot of people were upset with Jesus when he came riding in to Jerusalem because he was a threat to them. People were proclaiming him as the king. You know, Hosanna to the son of David. I mean, all the masks were coming off now. When Jesus was healing miracles and raising people from the dead, remember what he would often say to them? Shh! Don't tell anybody that this has been done. Be quiet. My time has not yet come. Because he knew that if he blew the lid off during his earthly mission before he went to the cross, that that would catch the attention of the authorities. And then they might come and try to clamp down on him and maybe not fulfill his mission. But we know that he could because he's God in the flesh. He can do whatever he wants to do. So he said, please be quiet. Don't tell anybody. A few instances, he said, go ahead and tell everybody. Like remember the time when the guy in the cemetery who's, you know, uh, marking himself up and and doing all kinds of crazy things, and Jesus casts the demon out of him, throws him into the pigs, and what do the pigs do? Go all over the cliff, and they said, yeah, you can leave town now because you just destroyed our economy. And Jesus said to the guy who got healed, go tell everybody what's been done to you. Usually that's not the case. But here on Palm Sunday, he wants everybody to know he's publicly being acclaimed as the Messiah King the Savior of the world. And now he's saying, go out there and tell everybody, I want everybody to know that my mission is not to be an earthly king. My mission is to be a king of another kingdom. And these people who are cutting down palm branches and putting their cloaks, and you know, I'm riding on a, on a donkey that's never been ridden on before, they can proclaim me as the king. They think I'm coming as a different kind of king. They think I'm coming as a political king. They think I'm coming as an earthly king. They think I'm coming, the Jewish people, to relieve them from the oppression of the Romans. That's not why I have come. And probably the people who were saying to to him, Hosanna to the Son of David, they probably weren't the same ones who were saying, crucify him, crucify him, as we like to believe. Maybe somewhere, but not all. You know, this is kind of like the Super Bowl, you guys, that's coming to Las Vegas this year, right? 2024. You think this town's going to be hopping? You think this town is going to be all jazzed up to host the Super Bowl? Well, I mean, ever since the last one ended, the countdown has begun, has it not? And people are looking forward to it. I mean, there's going to be millions and billions of visitors and dollars that are going to impact the local economy, right? I mean, this was like Jesus riding into Vegas, except he's riding into Jerusalem, and he wants everybody to know that he's the king. And we know that the king, yes, he came into Jerusalem. He rode into Jerusalem that, that one Palm Sunday. But we know that, that that king is coming back. Amen? And we heard in the Gospel reading that when the king comes back again, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess whether they believed it during their earthly time or not that Jesus was and is the king. And if they didn't make that confession of faith while they were living, well... 
they're in big time eternal trouble. And that's why our mission is really important. That's why as individuals, as married couples, as single people, as families, as a church family in our work environments or wherever we are at, we got to let our Christ light shine and we got to tell people you know, about the King. Because the King wants to ride into everybody's lives. You know, the palm branches, we make a big deal out of palm branches and donkeys. Sometimes they get more pressed than the king does. You know, Jesus, everybody got their palm branch on? Yeah. You know, palm branches really symbolize two things. They symbolized rebellion and they symbolized independence from tyranny. So when they cut down the palm branches, it was their way of saying, we're sick of the Romans. We're sick of their impression oppression and not doing what the things that we want to do. We're rebelling against the authority. And the palm branches also symbolize we want independence from that. And this is the king who's going to bring it to us. He was going to bring it to them in a different way, right? Not quite the way they wanted independence, not quite the way they want a rebellion, but God was going to bring it to them through Jesus Christ. And so the palm branches symbolize rebellion. They also symbolized tyranny. And the palm branches in Jesus' writing also symbolize the victory that all of us have through faith in Jesus Christ. And Jesus did humble himself, not because he rode on a donkey. Actually, riding on a donkey was a thing for celebrities. In fact, King David, remember him in the Old Testament? When he passed on the kingship to his son Saul, what did David put him on? David put him on a donkey, and said, parade throughout the streets of Jerusalem, the same Jerusalem that Jesus rode into, and said, hail the king, the new king Solomon. May he live forever. So donkey is actually a symbol of prestige, a symbol of status, a symbol of being a celebrity. But he did humble himself because he was going to the cross, you guys. And that's what we're going to celebrate this Holy Week. Monday, Thursday, the Lord institutes the Lord's Supper. Good Friday, he dies for our sins. And Easter Sunday, he rises again from the dead because he is the king over sin. He's the king over death. And he's the king over the devil. Amen? And we have the victory by grace through faith in Jesus. I mean, this is bigger than Adele. This is bigger than the Michael Jackson show. I picked up some mover riders yesterday afternoon. They were from England. We talked a lot about England. They went to the Beatles at the, uh, the Mirage, and they said, man, that's the best show we've ever seen. That was awesome. It was wicked, they said in their English language. Wicked means cool, I guess. Awesome. It was wicked. Well, so was the entry into Jerusalem. I mean, it was cool. It was wicked, and it was amazing. It's the greatest show on earth. Jesus Dying and rising and paying for the sins of the whole world, of all of humanity, wiped clean, washed away, not held against us, and giving everybody who has faith in Jesus the King life and salvation forever and ever. Rejoice on this Palm Sunday. He's your King. He's my King. And He's the King of all believers. Celebrate with joy and thanksgiving. Hosanna. Blessed is He who comes. In the name of the Lord and all God's people said, Amen.